Hey everyone, it's Mike the Golden State Picker and it's Saturday, which means garage sales. So we did a few, few we hit a few. Even though it's warming up around here, the garage sales seem to be coming alive here in California. I found a few cool items and I found some bread and butter, that kind of stuff. Not a tremendous amount of stuff, but uh, still, I cannot complain whatsoever, all right? So we're gonna go over that and we'll also show you a few sold items. We have one really cool one that sold that uh, it took me not, not too long, but I was happy that it sold. And we'll go over those too. And we'll just have a, you know, a little bit of a discussion about things as we go along. All right. So Savers has not been great. Been really, really slow. So you gotta make it up elsewhere. So I make it up on garage sales and other things. And we go from there. So today we hit uh, probably about 10, just about 10. I don't hit many. A lot of people think that I'm out there just going crazy, but uh, I um, I only hit about 10 and then I go over to Savers uh, when they open up at 11 and pretty much if they've got something within the first hour, if not, then I head home. So nothing big uh, out of Savers. Savers has been a little bit sluggish. All right, so first off, we're going to talk about uh, free at garage sales. I love free. So I uh, rolled up to this one garage sale, and uh, first thing I saw was some magazines. So it said free. So I picked them up. And you might have seen me show you these before. I've gotten them out of the book bin. And this is Dwell. And it seems to do really well on eBay. So keep your eye out for this series of magazines. If you can get them for nothing or you know, 50 cents a dime, a quarter, or whatever, go for it. This is the year 2010. This will probably be 30 bucks. This might be a $30 bill. I'm pretty sure it will be. I know I've sold Dwell many times. So it's like somebody put a $30 bill on the ground, right? And you just pick it up. Sweet. Now, not everything is going to be uh, terrific, but you still got to pick it up and take a look at it. Now, I did grab these because they look cool. They are fashion magazines. This is issue one. No comps on it. Uh, when I got home, I checked it. This is Ellie, the collections. Some of these maybe, I might try and lot this little thing up for, you know, 15 bucks. If it doesn't sell quick, then I will throw it away. So some of the stuff you get maybe not good. So you just don't hold on to it. If it's not something you're thinking about keeping for good and trying to sell it, just toss it. Don't worry about it, especially when it's free. Just get it out of the get it out of the building, basically. All right, and then the other one we got. Pop out! Sorry, I keep popping in and out. Everything's scattered. Some Art Architectural Digest. Okay, now these are old. This one's old. This one's 1982. So there's some 1980, 1982s, wide range. 2010. There were some 2000s. I believe I got about. I want to say 40, 40 of these. So I will go through these and see what I can come up with. But I guarantee you on these Architectural Digest, some of these, if I can make complete years, we're going to get 100, at least 100. So you get 100 there, you get 30 there. So that's like somebody giving you $130 just for driving up to their garage sale, right? So, you know, that's the good thing, free, right? People don't realize. They had, they had the usual magazines there too, the uh, National Geographic. And it's funny to watch other people come to the National Geographic and go, oh, it's National Geographic. And they take a few, that's fine, you know. But those things are, those are the ultimate bricks, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but long story, there you go, right? You just grab these, and uh, they will sell. So, Architectural Digest. digest. All right, now, at the same, <coughs> excuse me, the same garage sale, he had some books. You know, I like books. So, uh, I'm going to show you. I got, I got four. Okay. I just picked up four. They were a dollar each. Now, these guys here are going to get me total of about 35 net profit, these three. But I wanted to show you this one. I want to show you when you get a winner. You wouldn't think of it, but it's called Surfaces. And I'm going to put the uh, Amazon, <coughs> excuse me again, I'm going to put the Amazon and Scout IQ. Uh, price across there now the big number you're going to ignore the upper the, the upper left down below you're going to see 164 dollars okay you're going to see an e-score of 29 and if you have watched my videos e-score of 29 is is really good that means it sells 29 times within a year basically so this book is going to sell now 
it says 164 acceptable. I think this book is going to be a $200 book. So you can see the value of Amazon and the power and why I like books. Right now, I'm very pleased with my uh, my book selling on Amazon. It's been very steady. That's what I want. It's like, you know, we build passive income. So we built so many different ways to do income. This isn't so much passive because we're not, we're not, uh, we actually have to do some work for it, but many levels of income. Amazon is one, eBay is another, so forth and so on. So uh, it is very, very good right now for me on Amazon. Very steady. I've got a nice little system that I'm working. I'm not interested in becoming the next Reezy Resales. And many of you know who Reezy is. Reezy's great. That's his gig. My gig is the little fish next to the sharks, nibbling off of them and making good money you know making a lot of good money and we're gonna we're gonna sh one day we, we're working on that video we're working on that amazon video just to kind of give you an idea I'm, I'm not the biggest amazon seller but i bring home some money from them all right let's take a look at um let's go with the, this guy right here now this is a i've sold this before so i know it's decent it was 20 bucks I couldn't get her down. It's brand new. I opened it up brand new. It's uh, a McCulloch steamer. Okay. They will get me about a hundred dollars plus some shipping. So this will be about a hundred dollar bill. I paid 20. And if you look inside, it's all, it's all there. I'll try to put maybe a comp up there on the McCulloch just so you can kind of see what it is, but it's like one of those little handheld steamers and they sell pretty good. I've sold them before and this is nice. It's in the box. You just have to tape it up and off it goes so there's not a lot of work with this when they're new all right back here we are going to go to some of my bread and butter a little bread and butter i do this all the time with these guys here you go vcr this one is uh sharp what i like about it if you know is the manual and the remote she even gave me a box. It's not that box, but it'll fit nicely, nicely inside this box that I have here for shipping. So I will probably shoot this one, wrap this one, label it, and it's done. This will get me probably anywhere between $60 and $70 plus some shipping. I paid five, $5 for this. You'll pay that all day long. And what I like buying them from garage sales is people will people are honest gen, generally speaking they'll tell you it works and you can tell they'll say hey I, I, it works i don't you know have any qualms whereas it, if you get it at a savers or a goodwill people are just dumping those sometimes and it's a little tricky i'll run it through the test on the um you've seen me test them with the uh little portable tv i think that's something everybody should have is a little portable tv with the video jack so you can quickly test these vcrs because there's good money in these once you uh get a little rhythm if you have an area to set up you just set it up and off you go all right put that down um we're gonna have to open this one up it's nothing spectacular but you see, you know who he is he's jim shore let me, let me pull him out of here He's Jim Shore, and here it is, right there, Jim Shore. Nice, I like this one, very colorful. It's got the nativity scene, not a, not an expensive one. Paid $3 at the place where I got the books and the magazine, so three bucks, and it will sell for about 30 to 35, no more than that, but it's still a solid little find. I really like Jim Shore, just, he does some good work. All right, we got the next two the oh let me show you one book let me show you something else here okay so here's how here's how to think about some books sometimes and my friend brian he he does this all the time so we will look for a comp so when you look for a comp on ebay or amazon and you're looking for that comp you see what the price is and then you notice that it doesn't sell there's no sales so that tells you well these comps these guys are not managing their listing so it's way up there. Let's say $150 for, the, for this book. This is, I think, what this book was, some people were trying to sell it for. On Amazon, it has a pretty high number. I'll show it to you on here, but it has one sale. It's not really worth throwing it into Amazon, in my opinion. So it's in really, really good shape. 
and I'm gonna flip it on eBay. Now I'm gonna put it on eBay for like $59.95. I paid a buck for it. So I'll turn a dollar into $59.95. It doesn't take up a lot of room and we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna come along and say, wow, that's a good deal. And they're gonna grab it. Now what's interesting, I wanna show you is inside the book was the original purchase price. To show you, this is 1999. So this is like 22 years ago. This book was $99.95, 99 How crazy, huh? See, it shows you, man, even back then textbooks, these kind of things were super expensive. And, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten um, messages from some viewers who have sold books for 1,600. So there is really good value in books. You just need to just kind of open your eyes to it. It's like me, I need to open my eyes to other things. We're just sometimes, uh, we got these blinders on because we know what we know and we kind of need to widen them out a little bit, widen them out so that we can then uh, expand and make even more money. You gotta keep that in mind. So that's how I worked that. You know, a buck, let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can make 59 kind of within a week or two or not and see what happens. So that's how I do that. Now, I call this the cool find of the day. This was cool. This was my first find of the day. I'll show you what I paid for in a second. Look how cool this is, folks. There you go. Snap-on. That's the name, Snap-on. Everybody knows the tool brand. But this is a roll cab toaster. Brand new sealed, brand new sealed. I, there you go, I paid eight, $8. I didn't even quibble. I don't even need to look it up. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put it up for $199 on eBay. And by Christmas, I'll get $199. I'm not gonna let this go cheap. This will be 180 to 200 easy. Really, really cool on that toaster, snap on. All right, now, this next item, I'm gonna cut and we're gonna take a look at it because it's kind of big and we'll give you an explanation on that. And then we're gonna um, cut back and we'll talk about some things that sold. All right. Okay guys, this is the other item I bought today. I paid $100 for this. Look at that, it's a lobster. The Elite Lobster. What is it? Can you guess right off the bat? That is a tennis ball server. Basically that is a top of the line. The, uh, the lobster, I guess, is, is pretty pretty crazy on prices. I'll scroll some prices across for you so you can kind of see what these things go for. This will have to be a local sale, I think. Uh, I don't want to risk shipping it. It's kind of heavy. It, it will fit nicely in a box, but still could be a problem. So we're going to try it locally first, Facebook Marketplace and eBay, uh, the local market. What it does is it folds up. There's your handle. You see my wall of boxes there it is look at how tall that thing is getting wow crazy ah, i have every box down we go and at first when some people look at it they think it's missing the hopper the hopper is where the balls get fed into but this is a unique they got the hopper kind of kind of built into uh the lobster there's the, the name of it lobster it goes up like this and now you can kind of see it, right? So all the tennis balls go into here, gets fed, and then shot out. Now, the only thing that's missing is there's a remote, but that's no big deal because they sell without the remote. People will buy it. And there is a charger. It is this little uh, cable thing here. This little cable thing. It plugs into here, and then you hook it to a like a 12 volt battery. There's some other chargers you can probably buy for that, but not the end of the world. I think we're going to get $500 to $600 on this lobster locally. So that'll be a nice flip, 100 into about five or six. That's cool, huh? The tennis ball thing, the, uh, the lobster elite. Very cool. Uh, couldn't pass that up. You know, that's a good buy. That's a good find. Again, we'll sell that. Hopefully, hopefully we'll sell that locally. All right, up next, we're going to talk about some items that sold. Uh, we're going to talk about some lower price, some me medium and one expensive one. Just kind of give you a flavor of what, what's going on. I mean, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to flood it with 10, 12. I just kind of want to give you a good idea of, of what's happening happening out there. All right. So first up is a CD rack. I, you saw me, if you watch my video, I got this and it sold really quickly. Uh, I put it up for what I thought was a little bit higher price because I didn't want to let it go. And it still sold. It sold quickly. 
sold for uh, $32, $17.95 shipping. And it sold locally, kind of. So it was only like $8 to ship it. So I had $17.95. So I basically made $41 off of this guy. And here's the thing in the title, somebody wrote me, Oh, it's not mid century modern. And I should, you know, I, so we're copying titles, right? We copy, paste, copy, paste. And that's what's happening with this particular item. It's teak and it has that mid century modern look. That's what it should be. It's not pure mid century modern, meaning it was made in the 50s or something. This was probably an 80s product, but it has that mid century modern look, and that's what's pretty hot right now. Everybody's looking for that. So that's probably why it sold pretty quickly. Right, up next, again, old cell phones, new ATT flip phone here. Uh, picked up a couple of these. I think I paid $3.99 at Savers, $3.99. And this sold for $47.96 plus $5.95 shipping. Don't discount these phones, folks. Uh, keep looking for these. They pop up every so often, and uh, people need them. You know, older people, just people, you know, burner phones, whatever they're doing with them, they need them. So there you go. All right, up next is a game. This is an interesting one. It's a Phase 10 game by Mattel. And they had different colored cans. This is a yellow can phase 10. Looks like a soda can. And they can sell for good money. So you pick them up for a buck or two at a garage sale. And they'll sell. This one sold for $39.95. And $5.95 shipping. So very, very cool piece. It's, it's amazing what we find, right? And we don't think it's value. But it's it, that's the fun of picking. And the fun of garage selling and all of that. Is just continually finding these odd and these very unique things that you would never think is worth you know 40 bucks the person selling that had no idea right ah uh, bye right, back to some books from the bins we try to show you a few of those every time this was a trigun set which was manga so I remember I had a five volume one two three four five and then a what they call omnibus and for you people who don't know what omnibus is the omnibus versions can be worth really good money because they are lotting like usually two or three volumes into one. So they'll call it an omnibus and you'll have one or two or three in there. It's thicker, that kind of thing. So now you have the three novels in there. So I had uh, two of those and five of the other ones, one through five, and they sold for $145 and free shipping. So that basically, that little section of books, in my mind, paid for the entire bin of books Everything else in there is now profit, including the Amazon stuff. I love finding Garfield. Uh, the Garfield phones is one of the better selling phones. You'll see that this Garfield phone, the eyes, the eyes open uh, when you think you pick the receiver up. Really, really cool. And uh, they will sell fast. You don't even have this one here. You don't mess some some of these items. You just don't take the offer. You just let them sit. They will sell. And I didn't. This one sold for seventy nine ninety five full price. $12.95 uh, shipping. So don't sometimes, you know, I default leave my best offer on. And sometimes that can get me not into trouble, but it gets me a lot of, you know, crazy low ball offers that I just blow out. And if you're going to be ridiculous and do it two or three times, then I, I really, I just block you because you're, you're just not interested in mine. So do I block people? Some I do. If you're going to be silly, that's what's going to happen to you. All right, here comes the big one. If you saw one of my videos at the flea market, I picked up this Bud Light pool table lamp and I paid $50 for it. And I believe I was just a tad bit optimistic on the high side, a little bit, about $50 to $75. So when I got home, I had to make the adjustment. I put it up for $349.95 and I just let it sit there. I wasn't going to worry about if somebody didn't want it. I knew I was going to have to sit on it for a little bit. I didn't sit on it too long, maybe a month, month and a half. Sometimes it might be shorter because time flies. But it sold for $350 in $60 shipping to Colorado. So I made money on the shipping. I made uh, about $25, I think, on the shipping. So $375 is what I made. Then you take away the fees. Again, we go back to that. Well, what about the shipping? Look, I have to package that thing. That's not a that's a tricky piece to ship. So it's time involved. Doesn't matter if it's going to the East Coast or California, it's $59.95. It's my time, me getting the box, everything like that. So I leave it as 
that price. And uh, unless somebody really wants to negotiate hard and it hasn't sold, that's about the only way I'll ever budge off of that. You gotta stick to your gun sometimes. Hey, time is money. And if you're not accounting for the time that it takes to ship, you know, that's not good. So you gotta all, that's one of the big keys about uh, eBay is, is getting your shipping down pat. Someday we'll talk about that in a video. All right, guys, that's it. Everything you saw today. Now it's back into this cave. I got a few things to package and then take an easy day off tomorrow. And we will uh, see you uh, the next video. Thanks again. See you later.